I could probably talk about this for hours, but I will try to explain why I like Rust compared to other languages. I still like other languages, but Rust is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the two other languages I probably reach for the most would be uh, Bash and C. Bash is a scripting language. It's really good for getting things done quickly and easily. Um, I think it's optimized for the person using it and not the computer running it. So I can give you a Bash script where in three lines I can accomplish something that would take me, you know, like 40 lines of C. So it's meant to just say, like, here are these three lines, go run it. Yeah, it's a little bit slow, but computers are fast nowadays, so don't even worry about it. Um, if I need something strict with uh, data types and memory and stuff like that, that I'm probably going to reach for C. Um, I really like C. It's a great language. It's universal. It's going to outlive us all. That's what I believe. Um, but Rust has really fit a cool role for me. Uh, Rust abstracts like memory and stuff like that, but it doesn't abstract the system so much. So you can do like systems level programming with it. Sure, I can pull in crates that sort of abstract it, but like a good example of this is like even though I'm writing something in Rust, let's compare it to something like Golang, or I guess contrast it. Um, in Golang, I have like Go routines. And how are those managed? Well, they're managed by like the Go runtime. At least this is my understanding. I could be wrong. I haven't written too much Go. Uh, but the Go runtime is responsible for handling these Go routines, which are like green threads. They're not actual threads in your system. They get managed by the runtime. So if you have like 40 Go routines, you might have 40 threads. You might have one thread. You're probably going to have somewhere in the middle. Like there'll be some sort of thread pool on your operating system that the Go runtime runtime is controlling and then from you as the programmer you don't have to worry about that stuff i think that's great i think that's awesome what i like about rust is it doesn't try to do that sure i can pull in a crate i can pull in like tokyo and i can get tasks and i get kind of the same thing there but i don't have many abstractions i mean this is as concisely as i can say it rust doesn't abstract the operating system it abstracts things like memory management and like you know i don't have to worry about like race conditions and stuff like that put an asterisk next to it people will come up with these examples of like oh well if i'm talking to a network it's like yeah when you're talking to a network yeah of course like there are going to be timing concerns and stuff like that that's not exactly what it fights against when you have like the borrow checker uh you can make sure that memory isn't being mutated in multiple different places at the same time because you're not allowed to do that the borrow checker is extraordinarily conservative in what it allows you have to go out of your way to say no I know what I'm doing here better than you do. Um, and you have to prove your point to the Rust compiler that like, no, please allow me to take this out. I think that's really cool. By contrast, you know, when I'm programming C, I could write two lines in C where I shoot myself in the foot. I also think that's really cool. Uh, different tools, they're both, you know, good for whatever job you're trying to accomplish.